said, you know, truthfully, any time that we got down to the fourth quarter and it was a close ball game, we got to the fourth quarter and it was 60 to 60, 62, 60, something like that. He goes, I just kind of felt like we were going to lose. I just kind of felt like Coach Brooks was going to go over there, drop a play, and figure out a way to win. I can't imagine a better remark from an opposing coach than that, that they just kind of figured he's got to figure out a way to get the dub. This past winter break was not so kind to Coach Brooks. He goes to Christmas break, and a lot of these guys can attest, Christmas break for basketball players is not the same break for the rest of us. What did you guys play, four ball games? Four games, you're in the gym every day, you're practicing every day, so Coach Brooks didn't get a whole lot of a break. That's just kind of how basketball goes. Either way, he started off getting sick, kept getting worse, goes to the doctor, all of a sudden he's got pneumonia, he's getting worse, worse, this is kind of weird, doesn't seem right. Um, and through that process, he was diagnosed with Gia Barre disease. I hope I'm not mispronouncing, I bet I'm close. He was diagnosed with Gia Barre disease. Um, and some of the symptoms that he's gone through, um, and I had to write them down, was dizziness, tingling, sore muscles, and even temporary paralysis. It's been a long journey for Coach Brooks and Coach Brooks' family. He is still in the hospital. He was booked in January 3rd. He's still in the hospital. This is his third hospital that he's been in. He is definitely improving. Everything's getting better, and he's looking to make a full recovery. But he is going to be out for the remainder of the season, and we don't know when he's going to return. I don't know about you guys, but I can't imagine going through that if that was me. I can't imagine going through that if that was my family. So the purpose of tonight is to be able to honor Coach Brooks, honor the family, and let you know that you and them are not going through that alone. We are here with you. <laughs> I would like to introduce to you an individual that will be watching the first basketball game she has seen without her husband, an individual that's been married to Coach Brooks for 35 years. That deserves a medal in itself. <laughs> Mrs. Jane Brooks and her family. Just uh, to play for Coach Brooks, because we know if he was here, he wants to play hard, he wants to play together. and uh, That's pretty much it. Just play for Coach Brooks and come out hard, go to 1-0 in the playoffs. How much has he meant to, to your basketball career? He's really been a father figure these last four years. I've been on varsity since I was a freshman, so right away, Coach Brooks took me in, and uh, when things got hard, I could just go to him, talk to him, so it wasn't like losing a coach, really. It was like losing another father figure for me, and um, it's hard without him, but Coach T's doing a really good job pushing forward with us, and uh, got a good team win tonight, so. We just really wanted to get going. This was this game was for Brooks. We needed to come out, play, play good, play fast, uh, just have a really good showing. And if you could touch a little bit on, on what Coach Brooks means to you. Uh, he, he's a really good coach for me. He took me in last year as a freshman, and he really coached me. He pushed me to get better, and just now, I, now I'm here starting as a sophomore. So. <laughs> Let's keep that Falcon train rolling. It's a great game. 